Well, consumers too are, uh, you know, are changing. They are adopting to AI. And India is a very young country that our median age is only 27 or 28. Right? So uh, the younger consumers, they will take to AI very, very quickly. Right? They will use Alexa, they will use Google Lens, you know, they will use all these AI features that are there on their mobiles and elsewhere. Right? So at every step, right, right from need identification till post-product customer service, every step that consumers are going to use AI. Right? And uh, if companies do not uh, uh, adapt accordingly, then I'm afraid it, it's, uh, it's very difficult for them. Right? Obviously, companies will adapt to changing consumer needs. That's going to happen and it always has happened and will continue to happen. Yeah. As a marketer, I think it is imperative that we should be where the customer is. And as AI becomes more and more commonplace, more and more integrated, more and more deeply integrated with the apps that we use, I think consumers will take to AI like fish to water. And not only, not only the younger consumers, I think even older consumers will, will, look, will do it. So very important that companies and professionals inside the companies understand how consumers are using AI. And that is something that we are going to discuss with practical examples in this course. You know, we will discuss the kind of trends that are happening in the FMCG space, in the telecom space, in the automobile space and tell you what AI is literally doing in all of these sectors as we, as we go through the case studies, the discussions in the course. This learning will also happen through peer to peer and I feel that is where AI in marketing will make you a strong individual in the field of marketing uh, post this course. It's a great question. Uh, one way in which uh, the, the, the impact will be seen immediately is that we are going to go closer to the industry. For example, you know, literally every model of car that is getting launched in the next 12 months has AI integrated deeply inside it. You would, you would be surprised already how different companies, different smart individuals are using AI in diverse ecosystems. And that is what I expect the students of this course to take away, to take away as a key skill. Whichever sector you might be, you might be in a semiconductor space, you might be in a sector that is a steel industry, in a cement industry. But whether you're an MBA student or a BBA student or liberal arts student, BTEC student, you know, you know, AI is everywhere. That's, it, AI permeates everything nowadays, whether we like it or not, that's a fact. And so students, we have to integrate AI in the curriculum. And in fact, at the Paris School of Business, in the MBA and the BBA programs, right? we have made AI a compulsory course. AI in blockchain is compulsory for all the students. They have to learn AI in blockchain, without which, you know, it's like basic marketing, basic finance, basic operation. They have to know AI at a basic level. Otherwise, they are going to get left behind. I think that's a tough question to answer. Right? That's a tough question to answer because things are changing so rapidly. Yes. Right? Uh, you know, in the year 2022, for instance, you know, when I addressed a marketing class or when I was teaching, not my, neither myself nor the students had heard of Chat GPT. But by the year 2023, ChatGPT was a household name. So in one year, everything had changed. So the what is the future going to bring is difficult to say at this point. Maybe the Googles and the Microsofts of the world, that right, internally they may be knowing right about how AI is going to change because they are going to lead that. But sitting here, it is difficult, but it is going to change almost everything. I think AI is the coding moment for the non-coders. You know, back in the 90s, when coding became big, yeah, we saw that, you know, coders had a deeper impact in the, on the world simply because they had access to, to communicate to computers. They knew their languages, they knew the Pythons and the C and the C++ of the world. AI, with AI, in two to three years time, English will be the biggest coding language. Why? Because people who are not, who are not so proficient at coding will be able to talk to computers. And that is a humongous change in the society as a whole. 
and i think that is something that we all need to learn especially as marketers given that you know we are in charge of spending monies for our, on behalf of our company can ai help me become 5x more productive this question was earlier unthinkable two years back as sir rightly pointed out this question was earlier unthinkable today 5x looks achievable in two years time and that is what they, these are the things that we as marketers need to upskill ourselves on we as marketers need to learn from the ai experts and that is what we will endeavor to do in this course